welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day so today we're going to be working in my small bathroom or my small guest bathroom so we recently renovated this space so i'm going to be decorating and styling it and as well as doing a little bit of organization so we're pretty much done with the renovations in here but i do want to i just got to add in a mirror as a final touch so before we get started this video is in collaboration with holshin they sent me out one of their modern led mirrors which i absolutely love so my husband is just gonna go here and install the mirror um, up above our vanity here you just see my husband he's just he measured the space of where he wants the mirror to be hung and then he just drilling some holes in here so we'll be able to hang the mirror now the mirror itself was pretty easy to install it does have a two wires on the back where you have to connect and everything for the mirror to function and then also you can choose which light you want whether you want warm light or daylight you can pre-select that as well but once you have all that done all you do is hang it up and then you just plug the mirror in so i thought this mirror would be a beautiful asset to our bathroom because it just has a modern design it's very sleek and it just looks really nice and high end so i figured that i'll go ahead and add this to my bathroom i love this mirror i love that it's bright because you can use it without you turning on any lights in your bathroom that's how bright it is so you can use you can just get by with just using the lighting on the mirror and i'll show you in a second of how bright uh this mirror is but it's touch screen so i really do love that and then you can also adjust the brightness and everything like i said before so you would just tap it to turn it on like my husband he just in this clip he just tapped it to turn it on and then you can just tap it to turn it off but you can see it's very bright so if you're in here doing your makeup and everything lighting is very important especially when you have a small bathroom like this lighting is everything so this mirror just adds a nice touch and brightens up this whole space now we also layered in some additional lighting so we added some recess lighting as well well because like i said it was very dark and dim in here i hardly ever filmed in this bathroom because it's so dark and you couldn't see so now that i have the lighting in here you can just see it made a world of difference so this is the overview of our bathroom and how it's looking currently so like i said we did um retile our shower and then we did retile our floors and everything in here as well and then this area here was a linen closet but we took the door down and then my husband just created some open shelving in, in here just so i can use to um style and house some bath essentials so i'll have all the information listed down in the description box below for horse sand so make sure you guys check out my link in the description box but now i'm going to go ahead and start decorating and styling my bathroom i'm also going to do a little bit of organization in here as well Hey guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and style my bathroom. So I'm going to start with decorating over here in my shower area. So I already pre-hung my shower curtain rod. I hit that shower curtain tension rod for a while. I believe I got that from either Walmart or it could have been home because it's been a while since I had it. But I did pick up some new decorative hooks. I just love the style of these hooks. Very modern. I picked these up from Home Goods. They were $5.99. And then also I picked up a new shower liner. And then I also picked up a new shower curtain. And I'll have both of these linked down in the description box below. I mean, there's no design on it. I really just wanted something clean and simple to kind of go in this space. Because I really didn't want to take away from the tile that we um, just installed. So the shower you see here, I'm just hooking the shower curtain and the shower liner to Together. now the shower curtain was called it's by M design and I picked it up from Amazon and it's actually I believe 30 inches wide by 96 inches long so I was on the hunt to try to find an extra long shower curtain one that is extends the length of the tub so I was in luck and I found this one and then also the shower liner is 70 I think it's 31 by 84 inches long so the liner actually comes all the way deep into the tub so you're not dripping any water anything like that on the floor but I'll have both of these linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested Now we did, like I said, we did um, go ahead and retile our bathroom. So the towel that we used was a, is a porcelain towel. We picked it up from Lowe's. Um, I just like it because it has like a matte finish on there and it also has some marbling detail in there to kind of match our um, vanity.
So next I did pick up some new towels from Home Goods. I got this towel collection. It's called Hotel Bath Fur. These are really nice luxe filling towels. I love that it has that gray and white design on there because that's the theme that I got going on throughout my bathroom. So I picked up four of the larger towels. The large towels was $7.99 and then I picked up four of the hand towels and I can't remember how much the hand towels were but I thought these hand towels were so cute because they have little fringes at the bottom and then it also has the same design and these towels were actually made in Turkey so they're 100% cotton super soft and then I just love it because it just looks really nice and high end so here you see me folding my towels into thirds and I'm just gonna and I have a double towel bar here uh, we had this for a while so I don't know where we end up picking this bar this towel bar from but it's very old so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that add my towels to my towel bar now my inspiration for this bathroom I really wanted to create a bright airy kind of zen spa like bathroom that's what i wanted i wanted everything to be light and bright and i just wanted it to be feel really relaxing when you're coming in here using the restroom now next i'm going to add a little decorative um I'm going to do a little decoration to the hand towel and I'm just taking a this is actually a curtain tie back that I got from Amazon a long time ago and I thought it'd be cute just to add that to the hand towel. Then I'm off. trick that I have learned to kind of give your toilet paper a little decorative touch as well so here I'm going to pull off this extra in here there's a new uh, roll of toilet tissue so I'm just going to take off the ends or the little end that they use to kind of seal it and then if you want to put a cute little design on there there's a trick that you can do so we're going to just take uh, our water faucet and then we're going to create a little stamp design for the um, the end of the toilet paper roll so what you do is you just take your faucet and you just turn your water on very gently and then you turn it back off and then you press firmly in the center of the toilet paper like so if you can see that and then you'll have a cute little design and then depending on your faucet the design would be you know different but I thought that was a cute way to kind of add a little spa touch to your bathroom then you also can put a little essential oil inside the toilet paper roll too as well to kind of freshen the room okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and style my counter and I didn't put in a towel holder for the wall so I actually found this cute little double towel um, holder from home goods it was $14.99 and it's in the satin or the brush nickel uh, finish as well then it has to has a marble base so I thought that'll look really nice on my counter now our vanity is brand new we just got this vanity it was, it's actually from Lowe's so if you guys are interested I'll have the information linked down in the description box below but it is the Allen and Roth brand I love this vanity because it just gives us so much storage because when you in the, have a small bathroom like this storage is key so you want to try to use as much vertical space and much um, create as much storage for yourself as possible so here I'm just adding in another set of hand towels to my um, my towel holder here now these towels that I put in here are just for like display I already have some paper or hand towels for guests to use that way they're not using the same towels as well 
and then I'll show you where I keep all of the towels because my kids do use this bathroom and then I use this bathroom sometimes this is like our it's not really a guest bathroom it's our second bathroom so I have to kind of make it function for us as well as for guests that comes over so some stuff you'll see me add in here like I said this for display but then I also have stuff that we use tucked away would be easy accessible for us Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some hand soap. So I found this cute marble con uh, soap dispenser from Target. It's by Project 62. I thought it looked really luxe and high-end. So I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna add in my lavender and shea uh, butter soap. This soap smells amazing. So it's by Soft Soap, so I just added that to there. And then also in the other corner, I wanna add in a floral arrangement and also my hand towels for guests. So I wanted to try to find something to hide that cord. My husband still needs to fix that cord so it's not showing, but I thought this full arrangement would do for now just to kind of hide that cord. And then, so this is what everything is looking like so far, you guys. So I love how everything has turned out. And then I also added these vanity paper towels for guests to use. So that way, when people are coming over, we're not all using the same towels. And then down here in this drawer, because this vanity has tons of storage. I, these are what my children use. This is their washcloths and their hand towels and everything I store down there. That way, everything is kind of tucked away out of, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And then in this space here, I still haven't put anything in here, so I still have room to grow. I just have like some extra trash bags that came with my garbage can but i haven't since yet organized that area under there but these drawers are all soft all these drawers are all soft closed drawers so i wanted to kind of organize it a little bit because i'm going to store in their toothpaste and toothbrushes and all their bathing essentials inside the drawer as well so i found these acrylic uh containers from amazon i believe they came in a pack of 10 so you got like maybe i believe three different sizes so you have two larger sizes and then you have four medium size and then you have four of the little small kind of cube size containers so I have them linked down in the description box below because these make really addition great uh, storage organizers or drawer organizers for your vanity or even your uh, kitchen drawer if you want to put them in there and use them for your utensils and things like that so you'll see me just kind of wipe them down because they're all kind of dusty and everything from us remodeling I'm just gonna um, insert them inside of the vanity now I did go ahead and add a few liners to some of the drawers as well, but I did that off camera so you'll kind of see that um, later on in the clip of how the liners are in there as well. I'm just gonna go over some of the drawers. So I have two large drawers at the bottom. So these little Steri Pot clips, these things are amazing. I just wanna share that with you all because like I said, my kids, they do use this bathroom as well. So I wanna have their toothbrushes protected and covered so nothing is not getting on them. So I always kind of put those little toothbrush covers on there just so it keeps everything kind of sterile and clean. So in this little drawer here, I just have some extra razors and I also have some hair ties and bobby pins. And then at the top, I have um, toothpaste. I have my son's um, toothbrush and his charger because he has a special toothbrush for his races and all that. So he has his little things there in this drawer. That way it's kind of out of the way. I hate for toothbrushes to be out on the counter, when, especially when you have guests using the same bathroom. So I just prefer for them to be tucked away in the drawer. So down here, this is just a drawer that I created for guests when they come over because um, when my mom and my sister, they come over, they always end up forgetting something. So I just have extra things like um, deodorant, mouthwash, you know, body wash, toothpaste, toothbrushes, things like sometimes people forget. So I just have that tucked away in this drawer. And then all of these drawers are soft closing, which I absolutely love. So then the top on this side, I have my um, other two kids. They have their toothbrushes and I just have some toothpicks in here as well. 
So these are the little clips that I was showing you um, in the previous clip. They stary pod, but these also have like a release of vapor, so they kind of smells like mouthwash, so it kind of keeps the toothbrush fresh. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then in this drawer, I just have some extra soap. And then down here, I just have um, extra body wash, mouthwash, lotion, you know, deodorant, you know, toothpaste and all that, you know, regular body bath essentials that they would use on a regular basis. Then I also picked up my daughter and I picked up for me to try these new Burst Bees refreshing sheet mask i haven't with cucumber i haven't tried this brand but i thought i'll give it a try because it looks like it'll uh, um work pretty well so that's it for the inside of the drawers it's not organized perfectly but for now it'll do so next i want to add in a scented candle so i picked up this candle from bath and body works this is um it's called bergamot waters so it has like a really nice crisp uh fresh linen smell so i'm just gonna like this And I do have the candle pushed away from the floral arrangement, so it's definitely not in the way where it can cause a fire or anything like that. So next, I'm just going to go ahead and add in um, a trash bag into my garbage can. I thought this, I picked this garbage can up from Kroger, actually of all places. It was only like $20 <laughs> and it was a cute little garbage can, but it's stainless steel. It has like a little pedal we can push to open it and then also it's self-closed. So it's quiet and then you keep all of the stinky stuff contained in there. And, and it actually came with like three free... Um, garbage bags and I think it's called Simple Human is the name of the brand of this garbage can. So I'm just gonna have to uh, look it up and um, I'll have it linked down. Find a link, I'll link it down in the description box below. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add in some bath mats. So I found these bath mats from Home Goods. I'm gonna try to show you the tag but it's kind of hard to see here on the tag if you probably have to freeze it just to see the name of the tag but that's the brand and then um they were $12.99 each they're very soft and plush and it's kind of in this like this soft um baby gray um color what everything is looking like so next we're gonna go ahead and style this little niche area so like I said this was our was a pre a linen closet previously but um, we decided to take the doors off and just make it into some really nice open shelving now we did add some little uh, LED lights to the inside of the shelves as well just to kind of brighten it and then these lights were called eco lights they were like $13.99 you get like a pack of three in there as well and I got those from I believe Home Depot so yeah, I just think that the lighting adds a really nice touch to the shelving. So I'm going to go ahead and style this shelf and um, get everything organized in here as well. So I always like to create a nice um, decorative display for my bath essentials. Um, I just like putting my my Q-tips, cotton balls, you know, makeup swabs, things like that in cute little containers. Um, so it can kind of give a nice little luxe feel to your bathroom. So I found these containers from Target. I uh, absolutely love the containers, but I don't like the that the lids don't, uh, they're not sealed on there or they don't, they're not airtight. So the lids are very easily to fall off. So you have to be very careful when you're taking them, um, taking things in and out of these containers because you don't want to drop the glass and it shatter. But just so you be aware if you decide to purchase these, but nonetheless they are really cute and i just love the nice mahogany wood design that it has on the lens so this first container i'm just going to use to create i mean put my um, q-tips in and then the second container i'm going to use for cotton balls and then the last container i'm going to use to add like my little makeup swabs
Okay, so now I'm gonna take my jars and I'm gonna add it to my very first shelf here. So I did take a little cake stand that I have that I got from Home Goods just to elevate one of them to kind of add a little some height and different dimensions. So that's what I did there in the back. And then I also added another set of hand towels or another set of bath towels. And as you can see there, there's the cake stand. So I just thought that would be um, look nice if I'll be able to elevate some of the jars so they have various heights. And then I also added some extra hand towels as well. So we like to use um, bath salts and uh, bath uh, body wash, not body wash, but bubble bath when we're taking baths. So we do love to take um, nice long baths. So I got a set here to add in this bathroom. So this is um, some Dr. Teal's bath salt that I have in these cute little jars. Then I'm also going to add the Dr. Teal's um, bubble bath in this smaller jar as well. These jars I picked up from Target. They're by the Magnolia brand, I believe. From Joanna Gaines they're really cute and then they all they have three different sizes so you'll see me add all three sizes to this bathroom um, I can't remember how what the prices range from but they were uh, super inexpensive so but I really love the style of the jars I thought it was different and it just looks really uh, modern so that's what I'm using here to add our bath sauce and bubble bath so these are the two of the jars here and that's the they, uh, the jars are labeled by how many fluid ounces it carries so i think the larger one carries like 500 and then the medium one is like 100 mils and then i can't remember what the small one is but the small one i just decided to add an additional um little bath sauce in that one just to kind of fill out the set of three then to the left i went ahead and added a marble decorative tray and then this i decided to add a, a touch of greenery to this shelf so this is a house plant that i purchased from my local nursery it didn't even have a tag on there so i can't even tell you what brand of plant it is but i decided to add it here just to add a pop of green then i added some decorative washcloths to the space as well and i'm hoping that because i have the lighting inside of the shelf in here that it will be enough to give it um you keep it alive at least <laughs> so yeah now i'm going to use these decorative baskets here i love these baskets Jesus looks so cute and um cozy i picked up this one from home goods maybe about a year or so ago and i was lucky to find another one recently at home goods and you can see the price here it was pretty pricey they're 29.99 each but they are really nice and um, heavy. These, these baskets make really good uh, storage containers. Even for your kids' toys, you can use them for um, clothes. You can use them for a lot of things. Only thing is I wouldn't put anything wet in here or anything like that. But I'm going to use mine to store my tissue in one. And then I'm also going to use the other one to store a couple of extra um bed sheets for guests in just so I can kind of free up some space in my main linen closet then also in that last shelf that I just added some more uh, bath towels as you can see here I added my tissues and then there I just added some extra um, two sheet sets in there this is the final look you guys so i really love how this shelving unit turned out i think if you have if you have a small bathroom one tip i would just i would definitely suggest is adding as much lighting in there as you possibly can and also try to add some shelving somewhere in there because it's a great way to store a little bit of decor and then also is a great way to store your towels and little bath essentials it kind of uses that vertical space so everything is not looking cluttered and all over the place and then this is what the lights look like with all the lights in the bathroom turned off it really has a nice ambiance effects to it I really love it these things are so super um, easy to use they run by battery like I said the brand is called eco light and all I did was just um, they have little bitty um, tabs where you can stick it to you know underneath your shelf but my husband just added a screw because they do come with a screw where you can kind of screw it in as well so yeah so this is how everything has turned out so I absolutely love it it just makes the whole room look really nice and bright and airy.
And then this bathroom is very small and narrow, so I'm trying to give you guys clips of the bathroom where you will be able to kind of see the whole thing. And then this artwork I did pick up from Home Goods. They were $16.99 each. So we did change our paint color in this bathroom. So this is the paint color that we chose. It's called Etched Glass and it's by Bear. And then we did use the paint and primer. It's a one coat. So this is the card here from the store and it's supposed to have like a little, it's supposed to be white with a dusting of gray. So I wanted something that's gonna be really light and airy and I wanted it to be a shade lighter than what I have on my living room walls. I really wanted to kind of give a brightness to the space. So I thought this color worked out perfectly. As you can see, it does have like a blue hue to it. Before we added the recessed lighting and all the other lightings in this bathroom, it definitely had more of a bluish tint to it. But now with all the lighting, you can definitely see the true color in it. And I think it just works really well for this space. And also I added that little tree there or that little plant I had for a long time. I got that from Target um, many years ago. So I just thought I'll put that in the corner just to kind of add a little greenery to this side as well. That is it for today's video, you guys. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Trina. I love to share home decor inspiration. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you're not already part of our decorating family. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.